Hey guys, welcome back. This is the Fever here. And today we are here for another restoration video. This time we will be restoring this Atherin Blue Box SW Switcher. I don't know the exact model in class, but I'll put that up here for you guys to see that. So this locomotive is not running at all right now. The only thing that happens is its headlight in either direction. Nothing much going on inside of there. So let's just move it straight over to the workstation and open this locomotive up. All right, now we have the locomotive on the workbench. To open it up, there are two tabs, one here and one on the other side. Just take a screwdriver in. And pull out a little bit. Do the same for the other side. There we go. The shell should not be attached in any sort of way. I'm gonna go and clean this off camera. Now here we have the engine itself. There is the light, the mounting on the side of here. These Atherin locomotives are pretty tough, but this one does not seem to be picking up power in any sort of way, or at least to the motor. The motor itself is a little loose. It's not fully in that U-joint piece. The first thing we're going to try to do is remove these two trucks, and to do that, we're going to take off this top wire, then I'm going to remove this internal piece just by pulling it off, it snaps in place, push in these two side pins, should drop out, go. go ahead and do that for the other side, there, they're both out. Just gonna set the motor off to the side. And now we will open up these two trucks here. To open up these trucks, just take a screwdriver, put it in this small little port, and just rock back. Yep, that piece is off. These ones were already kind of loose to begin with, but now you see the gear train and everything here. Next, you are going to undo these top clips. Just try to work them undone. There should be one more up in the front. There. And now we have it all opened up. First thing I'm going to do is clean up these wheels with a Pico track right. Actually just scraping across the wheels, getting them a lot more shiny so they can pick up power a lot easier. We'll go ahead and do that to this truck as well as the other truck and then get back to you guys. All right, after I opened up both units here, I can tell that they are both very dry on the inside. There's no like old lubricant that I can see hardly at all. And it's time for Need to add my own lubricant or grease. This is some um, lithium grease. Just going to take some and put it a little bit on each post. Just a little bit on the back wall in case they rub up on that. Each gear I'm just gonna rub on part of the teeth. As the engine runs around, it should Spread about pretty easily. There we go. Now for the main driving axles. Slide those in there. There we go. Make sure it's all in place. 
spin it a little bit. Go add this U-joint piece back in, connect it to the worm gear. Then we will slide the plate back in, practically just installing it all in reverse. Make sure that everything snaps together. Throw on the bottom plate. And these are now ready to be reinserted into the locomotive. Before we do that, we're going to work on the motor itself. And so this motor is very dirty. It is a standard Atherin five pole motor or standard of their small size ones. The motor in fact is the same that is used in these small Atherin Hustlers. So I've at least worked with one of these motors before and they are pretty standard to the other Atherin Blue Box motors. But this one is pretty speedy with its band driven mechanism. So now let's get to cleaning the motor here. Just start out with wiping the commutator here. You wanna make sure you have something like a toothpick and what I have with an eraser. The eraser can remove some of the carbon that is on the commutator. Or other gunk that's there. Spinning it really slow with my hand, holding down the eraser. It's a little bit better, but I think I'm gonna have to scrape quite a bit off camera here. Before I do that, I can actually take toothpick and clean in between the gaps. Make sure I get anything out of there because those can easily cut up the brushes and the locomotive can short out or your brushes could wear away prematurely. Yep. All right, I'm gonna wipe this down, clean it out the rest of the way off camera here. All right, now I have cleaned up the motor to the best of my ability. And it's now time to test the motor itself. So let's go ahead and just set it on the track. All right, now I did just stick one truck in so that we can test the conductivity here. I was trying to figure out why the motor wasn't running, so I did actually open up the Atherin Hustler. And so there's the internals of that. So now let's turn up track power and I'm just going to stick this on. Nothing is hooked up mechanically. You see it's picking up power, but the thing is these contact points are so rusted that it's hard for this overarching piece to grab power and get that to the motor itself. So now let's go ahead and clean that all up. Now the solution I have come to, to untarnishing this wire here is to just take a track right, scrub on this side, this side and here, where the, where it touches the light and where it contacts with the motor. So I will just go ahead and scrape these off, off camera and I'll get back to you then. Now it is time to reinstall the bogey's fully into the motor. Just gonna take this U-joint piece and click it back in place. Can be a little tricky sometimes. All right, now I have cleaned up the body. So now let's reattach it all to the motor and the rest of the chassis. Both sides a little bit. There we go. All right, now let's take this motor over to the test track. All right, now we have the local one down on the track here. So let's just test its performance, starting off in forwards. Might help if I use the right controller.
Here we go. It's not exactly the smoothest of engines, but just like the Atheron Hustler unit, this one does tend to be a little bit speedy. But let's see how slow we can get it to go. Starting off in forwards. There, it just starts right up after that. It does seem to go backwards a little bit better, which is a little interesting. But overall, I'm happy with the performance of this locomotive. All right, now we're at the conclusion of this video. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. Make it all the way. In this video, we cleaned up the body of this locomotive, cleaned out the axles, the gears, added new lubricant, adjusted the motor's position, and had a fun time investigating this locomotive, seeing what was wrong with it on the inside. Next week, hopefully, we will be working on this Tyco F unit. This will be my first time dealing with a Tyco F unit, although most Tyco units are fairly similar to each other. This one is not a power torque, so it's one of the older units. All right, I'd like to thank you guys again, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.